PG&E says it intends to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy on or about January 29th. That's according to an 8K filing. The company says that bankruptcy is the only viable option to restore financial stability. I mean, this is a story that you've been kind of knowing was coming for a while. The yep. stock is off another 50 percent on this. In the past, the California legislature had stepped in and protected the company. I, I don't know that you could count on that this time around because legislators there in California have been so angry that this happened after they let them off the hook, essentially, the first the last time, time around. Right. Um, it's, it, it'd be surprising to see elected officials stepping in to say, yes, we'll put ourselves in front of this when you consider the lives that were lost, the damage that was done based this time around. Yearly high on the stock's 49, headed to 8 today. Mm -hmm. at, eight, at 18, the yield's 18 percent. So, I mean, it's not, so obviously, it's, you're not going right. to get a yield. You're not yeah. going to get a yield, but this morning it's going to be when it opens, the yield is going to say 35 percent. And then the question is whether these equity share, uh, these shareholders are, are protected or not, and what happens. I mean, right now this is just a, a for most investors, just a bet on what the bankruptcy court is going to do. Yeah.